Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Ah. <sighs> it is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? I... The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Uh, Shulk! Ryan! Shulk! Shulk! Ryan! What are you playing at? Give us a hand! I'm sorry, Ryan. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. It wasn't a dream. Was it a vision? What should I do? I could tell Ryan. But... I don't know. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, uh, excuse me. I kind of don't really know what to say after that. That was an interesting vision to see, and we basically have to, you know, stop that vision from coming true if it is true. Anyway, hey, what's up, my Doku's Jason, and welcome you back to more Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we made our way through Tef the new parts of Tefra Cave, completing some side quests, as well as getting to this point where we ran into some Antals, or Arachno, that we had to defeat, and yeah, Shulk had a bit of a vision, and with that vision uh, came something that could possibly happen in the future to Ryan, but we will most likely try to stop it. This time, well, we're gonna go ahead and just continue through more of, um, of uh, 
Tefricade. Hopefully getting towards the end. We also need to work on finishing some of these side quests as well. Oh, we actually leveled up. I think we learned a new art. Oh yeah, we just did and I showed it off. It was Air Slash. Alright, do we got any more... Nothing? Seriously? Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna try to see if we can get some more of these enemies that uh, I have to fight for these quests. Ooh. Teddy armor. Okay, we have a one thing for the mementos of a lost son. Now... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fight these Arachno here because I want to try to get this quest done, so give me a solid... Okay, so that didn't work whatsoever. None of them dropped the items that we need. So, we're just gonna go ahead and just continue on. Might as well. What on Bionis are those? Monster's egg sacs, I think. But it looks like there are Mechon parts inside as well. Man, what kind of monsters are they? Probably some type of arachno. <sighs> Ryan, get back! <laughs> Ryan! No. If that vision comes true, then Ryan, I've got to find him. Yep. We have to find Ryan. Sound types will attack in response to noise. These will attack if they hear someone run past them. Yeah. So, as I said, um... As I said, like, before when... Uh, they were bringing up different types of, uh... Enemies. That was what I was meaning. This up and down icon is displayed on climbable walls and pillars. Move towards the place with this to automatically start climbing. Yep. But yeah, as I was saying, um... When we... I think it was like last episode when they were talking about... Or actually, I think it was a few episodes ago when they were talking about how like certain enemies can see... You. If they see you, they'll attack. If they hear you, they'll attack. Uh, if they sense you or something like that. Right here we got the lost pendant that we needed to find. However, we're not going to do take it back to that guy until we can, you know, find Ryan. Anyway. Yeah. So, I already said that stuff before, but uh, I guess the game has to still give us tutorials because they don't know that I already know this stuff. So, let's go ahead and climb up this climbable vine wall. And... You come over here and get this random item orb. And we can start heading in the direction that Ryan went. Shoot! Oh, 
One of us figured out these things would try and ambush. Let's do this, Shulk. Right. New art learn. Shulk Shield. The party can now have visions of the future. During battle, the party will be able to see in advance the dangers that await. Pay attention to the vision tags. The vision tags shows information on what will happen in the future. Use the information to, to act in advance. The white text is Talon Arts, red text is Fiscal Arts, and purple text is Ether Arts. The color of the art name tells you which type of, a te of art the monster will use. Warn party members about future dangers. Press B near the, any party member to warn about future dangers before the vision becomes reality. They must, there must be at least one block in the party gauge. If warning a, a party member about the future will allow you to select an art from them to perform, they will automatically target the monster to that attacked in the vision. Warning another player about the future and using their arts might change the future. When the future changes, the vision tag is destroyed and a new future is born. Avoid danger by changing the future in your favor. A monstrous, monster's talent art can only be blocked using shield. When attacked with an arachno crush one talent art, if the party leader is behind, tell Shulk to use shield to change the future. If the party leader is Shulk, activate the Monado and use shield to change the future. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and see our first vision here. We have arachno crush one. That is going to be a physical, I think a physical art, so we're going to go ahead and use Monado shield. And that will in turn uh, stop the damage that is being dealt. So we're gonna go and just keep. We're gonna go and just attack the uh, Rachno Queen. Uh, we're gonna keep our Monado, and since you know we don't have to worry about any Mechon, we're gonna keep the Monado in a bit of a safe place in case we need to use another uh, Monado shield. Okay. Let's go ahead and go for a chain attack. Um, flick break, let's go wild down. I don't have any daze arts yet because when we lost Fiora we lost our ability to do daze arts until we unlock some more in the party. Got another vision. Arachno Crush 1. Let's go ahead and use Monado Shield again. Gonna try to attack us. Only gotta take 2 damage. Uh, let's try to get reduce the aggro on us. Getting closer and closer to taking him or taking her down. Couldn't use light heal. And we've almost got her down. like the Monado works on more than just Mechon. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. Ryan, I just realized something. Huh? The future I see, it isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. A warning? Yeah. A warning about what will happen. 
What will happen if I don't do anything? Or if I can't do anything? So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You've got my vote. And if you really can do that, I think Fiora would have liked it too. Yeah. Right, let's get moving. We're nearly at the Bionis knee. Alrighty. We have Monado's shield, which blocks a monster's talent arts with shield. Tells you about, you know, the level depends on... Um... Depends on how well the, uh, shield will block. So basically, like, say, you know, you did... You have a, uh, talent art that's four and you only have level three shield. That means that, uh, you have to level up your shield to either match that or go past it in order for it to block. Otherwise, it's not going to do it. Oh, we can now set up skill links. If two party members are linked by affinity, they can take advantage of each other's skills. Press ZR on the skill tree screen to show the skill link screen. Alright then. So, let's go ahead and... Let's actually look at the skill links. Oh, we've got it. Secret of Life. More HP is ex restored when reviving a party member. Um, what can we do here? Oh, we can def diff up at the start of the battle with high higher enemy level enemies. And we don't get anything else for Ryan. So what about Ryan? Can Ryan get anything equipped? Oh, medium. Allow medium equipped armor. Interesting. Alrighty. But, before we move on further up the, uh, up Tefra Cave, I actually want to go back, now that we have those items, I want to go back to Magma, the Magma Ruins, and, you know, try to turn that stuff in. Or it's not really turn that stuff in, just more or less, uh, try to talk to the people that we can talk to about it. Hello. Oh yeah, here's about leveling up Monado Arts. So we can actually level these up if we so choose. Um, oh yeah, Shulk learned Air, air Slash. Um, Ryan... Still doing fine. Uh, where's my quest log? There we go. Um, okay, I think we may have to do some grinding. A little bit of grinding because I need to get these Arachno Silks. And I feel like I'm not going to be able to fully complete Tefra Cave's um, current list of quests until I'm able to do that. Or to get those. We've got something to ask that I think only you guys can handle. There's some monsters blocking the way ahead. That doesn't sound good. I think we should get this all sorted, sorted as soon as possible. Yeah, we have to do something. It wouldn't be a problem if we could take care of it ourselves. But they're tougher than expected and we just can't take them down. Looks like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place there. What type of monsters are they? I'm pretty sure they're arachnos. Seeing as how... Seeing as this is Tefra's cave, I'd say they're prime suspects. That's just... That's just what I didn't... I didn't want to hear. Let's cut to the chase. So now you know the score. Will you help us out? Oh, we have like a bunch of different type of arachno. We have clearing obstructions. And ble bleed def defense, it looks like, is our reward. Okay, so... Where exactly are we needing to head to? Uh, 
Oh, down here. So we have to take out these ones that are seem to be right here, which is or actually this may actually be wrong. But even so, we need to fight these things, like I said, for um, the silk, which I think we're about to get some. Yep, only one more to go. And then after this, we can go ahead and go after the other ones that we need to fight. Insect jaw. Insect jaw. But over here is the ones that we actually need to fight. Not you, but the other ones over there. Crack no here. So I guess I will, you know, I will uh, see you guys after I fight these things. Jeez, that was too many enemies and just freaking. Ugh. I don't know, it just felt like it was never gonna end. We did get a level up out of that fight, however. And we got a gold treasure chest, too. Some of these items might actually be beneficial to us. Oh. We actually got the, um, arachno silks from fighting the enemies that. We're in this area. Huh. Interesting. Well, now we just have to continue fighting more Arachnos that, are, that we still have left to uh, take down. Which in this case seem to be the ones over here. Alright, that takes care of that set of Arachno. And the last set that we need to worry about at the moment are all in here. So, let's go ahead and deal with these guys. They're a little bit higher leveled at level 11. But I think we can still take them on, especially if we can get a chain attack going. Okay, so we almost have all the enemies, or all the Arachno that we need to defeat. However, I do want to show something off that we didn't really get a tutorial on, and that's how to lure enemies. When there is a whole lot of enemies, and like a group of enemies that you don't really want to fight together because you know you're gonna die like me uh, you can use the luring technique to be able to lure an enemy away from the group and uh, try to ch fight them alone now this can sometimes not work because uh, these enemies will um, see well other enemies will see you notice the lure and come and attack you anyway but most of the time it works just like it did right now. There we go, quest complete. Alright, that gives us, um... I believe that takes care of almost every quest that we currently have. Outside of, of course, uh... Mementos of a Lost Son, but we also have Lost Pendant, which we actually found the pendant before we went to go save Ryan. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to back to the rear entrance, and we're going to go give this guy the, his Lost Pendant. But hey, we found it for you. Uh -oh. Yes, that's it. It's my pendant. I'm so grateful. I don't know how to thank you. Glad everything worked out. I think you deserve a reward. Take this. We got Quake Gear. And I think that takes care of all the quests that uh, we can do in Tefra Cave at the moment. And unless... As I thought, there is a side quest that opens up right after um, you complete some of these other side quests. And it's with the, this Defense Force soldier. Hello. I want to give you a little something to say thanks. 
On the way back from Colony 6, I found something and hid it. I've been planning to go and get it sometime. I'll tell you where it is. You can get it. go and get it if you're interested. What do you think it is? Keep it a secret. I bet you can't wait to dig it up and see. I'm pretty sure it'll come in handy. Are you sure? If you went so far as to hide it, it must be quite important. But I want you to have it. I'd feel better if I knew someone was putting it to good use. We have... Uh, a thank you. It's hidden in the ground on the left just as you leave this cave. You'll be able to find it if you look hard enough. Alright, so we have to exit Tefra Cave in order to get this prize. And we have every other quest done, so there's nothing left for us to do. Oops. I don't want to fight that guy. Yeah, there's nothing else left for us to do. Except to head out. So let's warp back to Villa Lake. And uh, before we do some skippings, let's go ahead and look at the Collectopedia. Okay, so Tefra Cave, I'm missing two items. Once again, I will go back through these areas in my free time and try to collect any of these items that we are missing. And then I will fill in the Collectopedias uh, later on. For now, I'll meet you guys back in the uh, Arachno Queen's Nest. Alrighty, back in the Arachno Queen's Nest. We're going to come over here to this web. Go ahead and use the uh, fluids on it. And we can now head up through the en end of this cave. There's the exit up ahead. No matter how many times I see this, I never get used to it. On the other side of those clouds. Yep. It's our enemy. Maconis. <laughs> <laughs> 